I need to believe and love myself enough to really know that I deserve a good guy. And I know family is very important to you. And I know having children one day is something that you want. I mean, and you say that on the podcast, you're going to talk about freezing your eggs and doing things like that. I mean, is that something that you are actively considering now? I wouldn't say I'm actively meaning like I'm taking the steps towards it because I know that I am most likely if they want me back, we'll be doing another season, I think, of dancing. But um, and again, with my body dysmorphia, it's a lot to handle. And I just know from my own mental state and wellness, which is my first priority above anything, I cannot even take those steps until I know I'm completely done with the show, right? As a dancer, at least, right? right? Yeah. And so you think you want to go back if they, I'm sure they would ask you back, but um, you want to go back for another season? <laughs> I think one more solid season. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Especially at Disney Plus. Like, I got to try this whole streaming thing out. It's going to be really cool. I'm really excited about that. It's going to be great. And I know that you, you mentioned before, you know, dating is not even at the front of your mind at the moment. <laughs> not at all. But when I swear I'm like the biggest turnoff probably <laughs> with like any male figure that comes in my, I'll, you know, and I'm, this is part of my work though, too. It's like, I need to believe and love myself enough to really know that I deserve a good guy. Like, and this is just untraining my brain. And I'm not saying anyone was a bad person who I dated. Don't get me wrong. It, that's not what I'm alluding to, but like for me, right? Like, and I need to not be, why do I attract certain men? And versus like, why do certain men disgust me? Which are like the most nice, like, you know, it's just like my, it really is being proactive on um, trying to stay present and conscious and know my self worth. And a lot of that is still in the work. So. I don't have solutions here, right? Like I'm not a certified therapist. I'm just, again, taking you along the journey with whoever listens. Yeah, I mean, do you want, are you looking, I mean, when that time comes, do you want a serious relationship? Do you want to settle down again? Is that something 100%. that- 100%. Yeah, you yes. want not marriage again? I am done hitting the streets, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad. But you know, like back in my club days, I mean, <laughs> Tim Z knows very well, like it was a more every morning embarrassment. Um, and I, I am no longer I can't be in that environment. I don't want to be it's not that I can't be. But it's no fun. It's just not fun for me when I can't hear the other person talk. No, that's so true. And I'm so sober, what right? Say? What did you say? Yeah. I'm like, what? And I have to pee every two seconds because I'm drinking water. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, does does it scare you the thought of actually getting married again one day? Does that scare you? No, no. no. I mean, I'm not proud of uh, um, having it. If I do get married again, be my second marriage. And, you know, I come from a divorce family. This was never there was something in that I don't know if it was a competitive side or an unrealistic side that I had so much put so much pressure on myself that, you know, divorce was like such a bad thing but then it's just the perspective like if you look at it it's kind of courageous right like it's kind of empowering without it without me saying oh i'm so empowered and i'm like I'm not you know trying to give myself props either but I, I think it really is like the way you look at it because it's not easy staying together it's not easy not being together it's like why compare it it hurts it sucks Either I totally way. agree with you. I mean, there's so many people that stay in a marriage just to stay in a marriage. And if you're not happy, you have the rest of your life. To That's the worst happy. thing. It's the worst thing. Yeah. If and my I mean, mom and if my mom and dad actually stayed together, I don't think I'd be sitting here today. Mm -hmm. I think I would have been probably checked into who knows some sort of institution by now. Absolutely. Yeah.